Hi ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing this look here. It's another soft spring fresh dewy um, makeup look. If you guys want to see how I got it then please keep watching. I am doing a full face makeup tutorial yet again and I'm going to start off with skincare. So I am moisturizing with my e.l.f. daily moisturizer which I love to death. I love it to death. That and the under eye cream and the facial scrub. Love them. So yeah, just moisturizing. <laughs> and then I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Argan Oil Primer. Um, I actually really like this and I thought it was going to be oily but surprisingly it's not oily and it really does like set your makeup and it's a really good primer before your makeup too so I really love it. I'm going to go also, go also in with my Smacks, Smacks really la la, my Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer right in my T-zone area because I um, am a lot oilier right now than I've ever been before so I need to really really prime those areas I did my brows off camera I will be doing an updated eyebrow tutorial for you guys I haven't done one of those in a long time taking my MAC prep and prime in peach luster and just applying it around my mouth to cancel out any of the gray areas from my eczema like I said before this is another um, soft spring makeup look um, me and my husband were going to the zoo that day. We were celebrating um, the one year anniversary from the day he proposed. Um, so we were going to the zoo that day. And so we went to church first and then we went to the zoo and then we had dinner. So I wanted to wear like makeup that was appropriate for the zoo, dinner, and church. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and now I'm going in with the Neutrogena uh, Healthy Skin Foundation, which guys, I love this foundation. I've been waiting for Neutrogena to come out with, they always had darker shades, I believe, but never in stores. And now that they do, oh my gosh, can I just say I love this foundation and I will be doing a review and demo on this foundation. I love it to death. Love it. This is the first foundation that has matched my skin tone as well as my undertone to the T and it looks so good on and it lasts all day oh my gosh there's so many things I, I have to say about this but I will leave I will do another separate video on that going in with my Becca shimmering skin perfector in the color opal um, yeah I'm gonna just apply that right on my foundation brush and then I'm gonna hit the high points of my face and yeah so anytime I do makeup looks where the makeup looks are very soft or neutral looking, not too, you know, dramatic, it's because I actually was going somewhere the day I filmed the video. Um, but I will be doing more colorful and dramatic looks too. Now we're moving on to the face because I always do this. I like to let my foundation set before I do anything else. So while that's setting, I do my eyes. Um, I'm taking my e.l.f. primer as always and I'm going to prime my top and bottom eyelids. Going in with my Coastal Scents Hot Pot Barista, I'm going to use that as my transitioning color. I'm using a Soho um, blending brush. You can get these brushes at Walgreens. I think they still sell them. Anyways, this one I got on clearance, but it's I've had it for two years and it's my favorite brush of life. My favorite blending brush of life. Now taking the Coastal Scents Hot Pot in the color Paprika, and I'm going to use that also in my crease just below the transitioning color on this day I wore really neutral colors like I had like these really light um, pink washed paint um, jeans on with a tan knitted top and a um, not a tan but a cream colored top and a tan sweater with some cute tan heels and I wore a rose gold jewelry so I wanted my makeup to be neutral but rosy so that's what I was going for I'm taking that same color uh, paprika and applying that on my lower lash line as well 
went into one of my favorite palettes of life. This is the 26 Shadow and Blush Palette by Coastal Scents. And yeah, I'm going to take those two colors I just showed you <laughs> and apply those in my crease. And I'm just slowly building up definition or depth in my crease, but sticking with the same rosy, mauve-y, um, cool tone colors. Also apply that to my lower lash line. Taking just that color there, and I'm going to apply that to the very outer V. And slightly blending it out. Taking my Coastal Sense Hot Pot in the color Pale Nude and Mauve, mixing those two colors together, and I'm going to apply that right on my eyelids. Taking the Coastal Sense Hot Pots in the color Paprika and Babar Babar really la la. <laughs> Paprika and Barista again. Oh my gosh, it is really late, guys, and I am so tired. I just worked a 12 hour shift and I'm like exhausted. And I'm just using those colors to blend out and make sure everything is gr gradually fading the way I would like. Going back with the Coastal Sense Hot Pot and I'm taking the color Flesh Tone. And this is my favorite like inner corner and brow bone highlight when I want just a little bit of oomph. I love this color. It's like an iridescent pale gold. It is so beautiful. And I'm just touching my um, the highest arch the highest part in my brow which is the arch of course and in my inner tear depth now going in with the covergirl true blend roses palette and i lied because i did not put flesh tone in my tear duct i'm actually taking these two pretty colors out of that um roses palette and i'm gonna apply that on the tear duct and the lower and part of the lower inner lash line i love these covergirl um eyeshadow palettes i think i have all three if not i have two of them um I know I have the greens one and, and of course the roses one that I just showed you guys. Um, if you guys want to see me do a makeup look or tutorial with them, please let me know down in the comments section. Thumbs up the video so I know that's what you want and I'll do it and I probably will do it anyway but I'm just saying. Taking the Maybelline uh, Precise, I think this is the skinny liner and I'm just tight lining my top and bottom water lines. I don't really care whether it's day or night, whether it's church or... I don't club so or some type of nighttime event I love having black eyeliner in my waterline it, I, it suits me it looks good on me it's sultry I'm a sultry type of girl so I love it taking my L'Oreal cream liner in the color espresso and I'm going to line my top lash line giving myself you know the wing and I went for a brown instead of black to make it more softer and let oh yeah, just to make it a more softer. I didn't want it to be harsh all the way, you know. I didn't want the harshness of a black wing to take away from the softness of the eyeshadow. Now we're headed back back to the face and I'm going in with my Clinique um, concealer this is in the color warm honey I believe 
And I'm not sure why it didn't pop up on the screen because I know I put it there. But whatevs, it's warm honey. And yeah, I'm just blending that out. I really like this concealer, but it's really thick. And if you don't blend it out and set it really well, it will crease. I wore this concealer on my wedding day as well as the Clinique uh, foundation. I forgot which one it was. But I, um, I plan on doing the look that I wore on my wedding day for you guys as well. So yeah. I will use all the products that I used on my wedding day on my face. So yeah. Now taking my e.l.f. high definition under eye setting powder and I'm just going to set my under eyes. Taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder and I'm going to just set the forehead, nose, lip, chin area. Taking my MAC Studio Fix Press Powder in the color in W45 and I'm just going to set the rest of my face and I'm using a, what is this, the e.l.f. flat foundation brush. <laughs> I like this one because it's really dense and it does not pick up a lot of product. Um, because when I'm wearing full coverage foundations that dry matte, I don't like to wear a lot of base powder. So now I'm gonna bronze my skin with the ColourPop Matte Bronzer in the color Happy Hour. I really don't know how I feel about ColourPop's matte products, like as far as their eyeshadows and bronzers and blushes go to me they're hard to use like they don't really pick up color it's I don't know if that's just me or if other people have the same problem I love their um, satin and their super shock one um, eyeshadows but the matte ones seem to be really hard they're they're more harder to work with but I do really love that happy hour bronzer. It's really pretty once it shows up. <laughs> now I'm taking my NYX Pro Contour Palette. And I'm going to take those two shades I pointed to. And I'm going to slightly contour my cheekbones. Not that I need to. But I'm going to do it because I like the way it looks. And I'm using an e.l.f. contour brush for this one. pretty sure it's called an elf angle brush but I use it to contour so yeah now I'm going back into that coastal sense 26 shadow and blush palette and I am taking those three blushes there two of them are matte and the other one is a satin finish and it's beautiful and I mix them all three together and yeah just popping that on my cheeks if you got if I could recommend one coastal sense um, palette to get I recommend this one because not only do you get beautiful colors that you can take from day to night, it's highly pigmented and those blushes are to die for, like literally legit to die for. That palette is a must have in your collection. Taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in, gl in the Glow Kit Gleam and I'm taking Mimosa, Hard Candy and Crushed Pearl, mixing all those three together and applying it to the highest points of my cheekbone, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose and my forehead. I no longer highlight my chin. I don't know why I just stopped. <laughs> now guys, don't hate me. For some reason, I either lost the clips to me putting on my lips, the lips area or I just was not recording all the way when I was doing my lips but I'm taking the lip liner in by Jordana in the color Rock and Rose and then I also took the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips and Tulips and Freaking Frack. I put Tulips on first thought it was a little too dark for the look so I put Freaking Frack on top just to tone it down a little bit and make it match the eyes a more, bit more. Like I said before I was going for a monochromic look or did I say that right? Don't shoot me if I didn't. 
and this is the finished look ladies i hope you guys enjoy i do have um a review video coming up for some hair that i have installed right now not in this video but i have started right now so if you guys want to catch that video i will check you in my next one bye guys